I'd like to take a moment to remember a friend of mine who passed away last night. Andy Athens was a civic institution in Chicago. He was a brilliant business leader. He was also the dean of the Greek American community, founder and former president of the co-founder of, co of the National Coordinated Effort of Hellenes. We're so grateful that when Andy's father left Greece in 1904, he came to Chicago. With his brother Tom, Andy built a business that provided steel to the world and good jobs and dignity for generations of Chicago American families. But Andy's contributions went far beyond Chicago. Growing up, Andy attended the School of St. Constantine and Helen Greek Orthodox Church in Chicago, where he learned the importance of Greek culture and the Greek Orthodox Church. When World War II came, Andy served as a captain in the U.S. Army in Europe and Af Africa and was awarded a Bronze Star. But he brought more than a Bronze Star home from that experience. He stayed on in Belgium after the war ended to run a liberated Ford Motor Company plant that was rebuilding American-made cars and trucks for sale to European governments. Landing that job was the second best thing that happened to him in Belgium. By far his greatest stroke of luck was he met his new wife, Louise. Before Andy retired from the steel business, he used to have to carry two briefcases to keep all his activity straight. In one briefcase were the things he needed for business. The other briefcase held the blueprints and details for all the extraordinary works of philanthropy and diplomacy by the American Council of Orleans. During the tragic invasion of Cyprus by Turkey in 1974, Andy Athens founded the United Hellenic American Congress in Chicago to organize the Greek American community and press for peace and justice in Cyprus. He served as president or chairman or both over the years, and every Greek American organization wanted Andy to be part of it. In 1995, leaders of organizations representing the seven million Hellenes living outside of Greece met in Greece to create an organization uniting all Greeks around the world. The result was the World Council of Hellenes. Who did the new council choose as its first president? The dean, Andy Athens. If it's discovered that there are Hellenes living on other planets, I am sure Andy would have organized them and would have been elected first president of their group as well. Andy Athens was a global ambassador for the shared values on which Hellenism and America are based. Freedom, democracy, human rights, human dignity, and service to others. He and the organizations he helped to establish have brought hope, opportunity, and justice, and the priceless gift of health to millions around the world. Last year, I went to Eastern Europe, and I met with leaders in several nations that not so long ago were part of the Soviet Union. And as so often happens when I visit other lands, I found myself following in Andy's footsteps. I traveled to the nation of Georgia, where Hellenicare, the medical philanthropy Andy founded, supports a number of health care centers. I visited the Ukraine, home to Hellenicare's visiting nurses program. I went to Armenia, where thousands of people each month receive care at a health clinic established by Hellenicare. This was a man whose good works are known throughout the world. As our friend Senator Mikulski says, Andy Athens was a one-man foreign aid program. Other than faith and family, no cause was dearer to Andy. Mr. President, I ask order in the chamber, please. Senator will suspend. We need order in this chamber. Senator from Illinois. Mr. President, other than faith and family, no cause was dearer to Andy than the cause of freedom and justice for Cyprus. Andy Athens did more than any other American to end the division and occupation of Cyprus and to keep the cause of justice for Cyprus on our nation's agenda. For his efforts, he received countless honors, including the Grand Cross of the Order of Merit of the Republic of Cyprus and the Hellenic Republic's highest honor, the Gold Cross of the Order of the Phoenix. Andy was 91 years old when he passed away. Loretta and I want to offer our condolences to Andy's wife, Louise, their children and grandchildren, to Andy's legions of friends. Andy Athens was a hero not only of this nation, but of Greece, Cyprus, and so many other nations. I'm proud to say he is my friend, and I will miss him. Mr. President, I yield the floor. Mr. President. Senator from Maryland. Mr. To my colleague and friend from Illinois, through you, I'd like to express my condolences to the Athens family. Uh, Andy Athens was a good friend to me. We had such a warm, cordial, affectionate relationship. But he made that easy because of the kind of man he was, a, a, a real entrepreneur in that immigrant sense, starting with very little and really 
to creating a business. But along the way, he not only built a business, he raised a family, and he built a community. And I just like enjoyed so much working with him on the issues. Yes, we did work on Cyprus. The, the fact that Cyprus is yet to be unified, that it's still occupied uh, in, the, in, in northern Cyprus. But was the senator from Illinois aware of his work in creating uh, health services uh, in Russia and in the Orthodox community uh, there for people who, uh, he was like a, a one-man NGO. And uh, what he did, was the senator aware of that? I, I had heard and I tried to read some of them, but I couldn't read the entire list. And I actually quoted the senator from Maryland who referred to him once as a one-man foreign aid program. That, well, yeah, I'm going to put that in neon here this evening, yes. He was an extraordinary man, and uh, what a legacy he leaves around the world, not just in Chicago and in Washington. Yes, what, what did he pass away from? I was told he passed away uh, peacefully in the night. The last time he, I saw him was in the Capitol building about a year ago, and you could tell that he was struggling a little bit. But it was a day when he was honored, and everyone cheered him on, and I was just happy to be there. Such an extraordinarily good man. And when you and I value our own heritage and the fact that so many people from different parts of the world come here proud to be American, but also proud of their roots, and try to do something for the country they came from or their family came from, Andy was one of those people. Absolutely. I, Senator, I'm so pleased, if I might comment, uh, that you brought this to the attention of the full Senate. I will submit my own statement for the record. We would welcome to know how we could get in touch with the Athens family, but let me say it to you. I thank the Senator from Maryland, and uh, I might also add that her former colleague, Senator Paul Sarbanes, was a dear close friend uh, to Andy Athens, and whenever we would have a meeting of the Hellenic group here in the Capitol, you always knew that Paul Sarbanes and Andy Athens were going to be right there in front with the Manitos families and others. A wonderful group, uh, both in Chicago and here.